Looks pretty dumb, eh? Don't do this. Do this. Guys, let's talk cheat reps with tricep cable press downs. Today, guys, we're gonna go over some cheat techniques while doing tricep cable extensions. Now guys, it doesn't matter if you're using a rope or a straight bar, easy bar, or even wrist thingies. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. This technique you can use for every one of your exercises when it comes to cable tricep extensions. All right, so we went over dumbbell cheat curls and how do you avoid too much hyperextension. Again, we wanna use cheat reps to help us at the end of our set, when it's really hard to get that concentric or that positive. The positive is the uh, pushing away from you. That makes any sense. So when we're doing these, mistakes I see all the time is it gets hard, and then we're doing this. Shoulders are coming up and we're throwing it down. Here we're just throwing it down, right? And we're missing the mark because we wanna make sure that we can keep the stress on the tricep the entire time. So. What we wanna do is, just like before, we're always gonna keep our shoulders down. Shoulders back and away from your ears, a little depressed. Now, it doesn't matter if I'm back, doesn't matter where you are when you're doing cheat reps. What we wanna make sure, whether you're, if you're close here or you're back far, we're always depressing the shoulders. And you can see my arms right now, my elbows are always going to the floor and my shoulders stay put. It doesn't do this, because when I'm doing this, I'm losing tension from my tricep. So I wanna keep the tension on my tricep to make this make more sense when we're doing cheat reps. I wanna make sure that I'm pushing my elbows to the ground, and you can see the difference between this. Right now my triceps are working, because guess what? Your tricep does shoulder extension from this point to here. It helps pull it right down. So if I get myself in a position where I'm like this, and I change my body position a little bit this way, now there's still tension on my triceps. So I need to use that extra bit of cheat rep. The cheat rep's gonna come from here, from my elbows going down, not from my shoulders coming up and pulling down. So how are we gonna do this? Treat it almost just like a straight arm pull down. Get to your position here. We're doing our reps. We're here, we're pushing down, we're controlling the weight. Ah, we're grinding it out and now it's like, the last like few reps, we're like, ah! And then we let it come up, shoulders stay down, we let elbows go up and we push, and we push the elbows to the floor. And push the elbows to the floor. And I have a little bit of a slight hip hinge as well too. If you can see, I'm letting the weight pull my body up a little bit and then I'm pulling it down at the same time I'm using my elbows to pull down. But I'm not pulling and doing this. If my starting position is here with my normal rep, my cheat curl is gonna bring me up to here and then pulling right back down to that starting position in the first place. There's a difference between this and this, right? You can see the difference. As soon as, my, as soon as my traps came into play, the weight went all the way down and touched. If I don't do that and keep my shoulders depressed and keep my elbows driven to the floor, there's still tension on my tricep. And just doing that, just playing around with it and just kind of showing you and rocking with it, my triceps have been engaged the entire time. So doing those cheat reps, I'm not losing any activation on my tricep. I'm actually making that much harder, but using a little bit of momentum to help get that weight all the way down the concentric so I can control the weight up. So your rep should look like here, control. Down, control. Full extension and control. And elbows are staying down. And you guys can just practice literally by just taking your hands like this getting your elbows in, depressing your shoulders, and literally think about your elbows going up and down. Just a rock, then you can use a little bit of your body as well too, and I'm pushing elbows to the floor. Don't let them do this. Keep them down. Your elbows are your cue. Elbows to the floor and finish. 
Elbows are staying to the floor and finishing. They're gonna go right up, but they're not gonna do this. We don't want this. We want yoinks. We want this, this. As soon as I do this, there's tension on my butt, on my triceps still, because my shoulder's down. As soon as I do this, tension is gone. Shoulder's down. All right, guys, that is it for the video, guys. Remember, a, a quick breakdown of what we just talked about. Remember, T-reps are there to help you get the positive at the end of your set when it's getting to that grinder reps. They're not to be used from the beginning of your set. You're gonna miss the mark. Number two, when it comes to technique, remember, shoulders stay depressed. Cue the elbows down the entire time so you don't get any chap or shoulder elevation. We wanna keep those shoulders depressed the entire time, stretching the tricep while we're in that flex position and then driving it down to extension and keeping the momentum, keeping the load on that tricep the entire time. No traps. Depress the shoulders, cue the elbows, use them at the end of the set, and reap the benefits of doing cheat reps the right way. Anyway guys, for more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. So next time guys, you know what it is, Iron Sharp is Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep Jim chasing. Peace.